In the ancient scripts, they told you, thou must not kill. And then it comes to, to the Christian Bible, they say, thou shalt not kill. They say, anything which has been offered to the gods or the deities, don't go and take it. Whatever belongs to your neighbor, belongs to your neighbor, not to you. So you have no right to go and take those ones. That thing you call the Bible. Where did they get the information from? I have already proven to you that Moses could not have written the Bible because at that time he was not there. Like one of our politicians here, you and I were not there. We are not seeing the truth about ourselves, but we allow other people to come and tell us what they think that God said to them. When I raise my two hands like this, what will be the meaning? No, not that you have nothing. This is the car, the symbol of the car. Now you have the car and the bar, and you have the car bar. It's a black rock. So we got out from this country and we flew a line and went down to Israel, Israel, to go and buy a rock to come and build a cathedral, creating the impression that the creator of the universe lives in a house somewhere, which is a lie. The creator of the universe is a spirit, and according to the book of the beginning, he is the spirit of all spirits. Then you can build a house for him or for her. There has been this discrimination against the women. Every time they say God is a man, but that is not correct. A man never gives birth. It's a woman who gives birth. A woman will take the fluid and keep it for nine months and bring out bones and flesh and then the spirit. But now we give all the praises to the man. The man does nothing. You don't know yourself. So the mystics will tell you, man, know thyself. Who are you? Mm. And who are you? Mm -hmm. And who do you want to be? If you don't know that one, you will dance in semicircles all the time. You go, ah, then you come back to the same point because you have not yet identified yourself. The problem of Africa is that we want to look outside of ourselves. We want to borrow people's noses to smell. We want to borrow people's eyes to see and their brains to think, their ears to hear. You will never make it. When you want to borrow, you will never make it. Be yourself. Know who you were in the beginning. Who you are now and who you want to be tomorrow. That is the only solution to Africa's problem. And uh, liberate ourselves from all these foreign names. Mm. If you continue, when they call John, and you look there. But you are not John. You have your name. You were born, you were given a name. Why do you abandon your name? People are coming to realize that they must take their own names because in their names, they have power. Mm. The girls have a beautiful name for our alcohol. When I used to have some Russian teachers, when they came to our school, what do they drink? They don't drink vod vodka again. They will drink apeteoshi. They have it in their fridges. They will have the apeteoshi cubes in their fridges. Then when it comes to rest, no apeteoshi is demeaning. We want champagne, we want this. We are not getting anywhere until we get back to what is ours. So they tell you that which has been given to you, don't look at what has been given to somebody. It was not given to you. It's been given to you, you have yours. And you don't want that one. You want to go and take somebody's Jesus. That Jesus does not know you. He will never die for you. But what is my own? Who knows what, me? Uh, what have you got in your house? My house. Yes. Black in Africa? Uh -huh. Or because you are a Christian? So you don't believe in the things that your ancestors have left for you? If they didn't leave anything for me. Who says? You don't come from a house? I come from a uh, house. I was given bed by someone. And in a he, house. Uh -huh. So they didn't pray for you. They carried you from the hospital or whatever, then straight to the church. <laughs> and so I baptize you in the name of Jesus. That one does nothing. The one which has power is the one you do in your house. Let them pour their libation and call their ancestors to guide you on your journey through life. That is my, oh, that is what I have. Yes, that is your house. You have parents. Yes. You have grandparents. Mm -hmm. You have grand-grandparents. Mm -hmm. Don't they exist? Some of, the, some of them are dead. If you don't call them, don't blame them. The people who lived in that area possess the powers of divination to interpret the will of God. Will of God interpretation gives you the science of divination. So you become right reverend professor, doctor, this. Useless. It's what are you useless. doing? Why are you 
becoming a right reverend professor in somebody's consciousness, what he has taught and written down, then you are copying it. But what you have been given, you have left it. You think that the creator of the universe discriminates? Hmm. The creator does not discriminate. If the creator does not discriminate, what has been given to you, be proud of it. <laughs>